Unit 4. Obstetrics. Third stage of labor, reading 1. Although for convenience, health professionals divided labor into three stages. It is more useful to see labor as one continuous process with each preceding phase affecting what follows. The third stage of labor is the phase from the time when your baby fully emerges until the placenta is delivered. It is also the time when your baby adopts liege outside the womb. There are two ways in which your placenta can be delivered. These are either a natural, physiological, third stage, or a managed third stage. Vocabulary 1. Number 1. Word convenience, meaning the state of being able to proceed with something with little effort or difficulty. Number 2. Word proceeding, meaning come before in order or position. Number 3. Word emerges, meaning become apparent, important, or prominent. Number four, word placenta, meaning a flattened circular organ in the uterus of pregnant mammals, nourishing and maintaining the fetus through the umbilical cord. Reading two. A natural third stage means that no drugs are used to deliver the placenta. Instead, it relies on the natural contraction of the uterus, stimulated by the search of the hormone oxytocin at birth. This is a hormone that causes your uterus to contract and expel your placenta. A natural third stage does not increase the likelihood of swear bleeding if the labor has been normal and without epidural analgesia until then. Vocabulary 2. Number 1. Word contraction, meaning the process of becoming smaller. Number 2. Word stimulated, meaning raised levels of physiological or nervous activity in the body or any biological system. Word analgesia, meaning the inability to feel pain. Number three, word oxytocin, meaning a hormone released by the pituitary gland that causes increased contraction of the uterus during labor and stimulates ejection of milk into the ducts of the breasts. Number four, word epidural, meaning an epidural anesthetic used especially in childbirth to produce loss of sensation below the waist. Reading three, after your baby is born, the umbilical cord will be left intact. It is long enough so that you can hold your baby comfortably and begin the process of getting to know each other as your baby adopts to life outside the womb. The flow of blood from the placenta to your baby via the umbilical cord will decrease as the role it has had during pregnancy comes to completion. The cord will only be cut and clamped when it stops pulsating. After a while, you will begin to feel your uterus contract. At some stage, you will feel your placenta in your vagina and push it out with a few small contractions. This stage can take anything from 10 minutes to over an hour. Vocabulary 3. Number 1. Word umbilical, meaning relating to or affecting the navel or umbilical cord, the umbilical artery. Number 2. Word clamped, meaning fasten something in place with a clamp. Number 3. Word pulsating, meaning expand and contract with strong regular movements. Reading 4. A managed third stage means that a drug, usually syntometrin or syntosonin, is given to speed up the delivery of the placenta. These drugs can cause nausea and vomiting, and may raise the blood pressure in some women. They are given by injection into your thigh, usually as your baby is being born, or if requested immediately afterwards. The main effect of this drug is an extra strong contraction. Your midwife will immediately clamp and cut your baby's cord so as to stop him receiving an abnormal surge of blood from the squeezed placenta. This contraction will have the effect of causing your placenta to peel away from the wall of your uterus. Other, longer-lasting contractions will close the cervix, so your placenta will need to be delivered within about 7 to 8 minutes. Vocabulary 4. Number 1. Word nausea, meaning a feeling of sickness, with an inclination to vomit. Word, peel, meaning remove the outer covering or skin from a fruit, vegetable, or shrimp. Word, squeezed, meaning firmly press something, soft or yielding, typically with one's fingers.